Here's a got a quick video to show you all. It is of my uh, PC, everything set up, all my uh, electronics, the powerful ones and the shitty ones. And uh, so I'll show you our uh, show you all. So I'll start off with the basic stuff first. So down here I have my Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2011. Uh, uh, yeah, it's twenty. It's the 20, 2011 Black Widow Ultimate. It's pretty. I love it. I love it. It's nice and mechanical. If you can hear the click. But anyway, so that's my keyboard. It's got some jacks for my. 11s, yes, I got high end shit, and I also got super low end shit because my motherfucking pieces of shit down there. I don't know if you can see them, those PX21s busted. So, next, I got this gateway mouse, nothing too special. Came with this PC when I bought it. So, uh, next, we have the Razer Vespula, which is a high end uh, mouse pad and for less friction and all that shit. So, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> and um, oh yeah, next we got my Logitech 2.1 uh, stereo system, and uh, it's got a little mini sub down there. Nothing too special. It's okay. I love it, but it's better than using those things if you want to jam out to your dubstep. All right, next I have my monitor, which is a 24-inch Samsung LED. Uh, it's a sync master and uh, it's nice it's got two millisecond response time 60 uh, 60 frames per second Hertz whatever mega contrast I don't exactly remember what contrast ratio it's got but okay um down here is my Samsung uh, series 500 and uh, it's nice it's a 17 inch uh, laptop it's freaking huge it's got an LED and it's 1080p it's got optical drive, HDMI, VGA, um, mini display port, USB 3.0, all that stuff. So it's loaded. I love it. It's nice. And there's basically everything it's got on it. It's got an i7, quad core. It's got uh, 8 gigs of RAM. It's got NVIDIA G4 630. And uh, it's nice. It's a nice laptop. Back there, you may be able to see it just a little bit, but that is the Modern Warfare 3 Edition Xbox. I got it about three days after its release, so I was happy about that. And uh, next here, I got my shitty as hell friggin' Toshiba. I think it's 720i. It may advertise 1080p, but it looks shit. I had to turn that down to 720p because 1080p would make this thing, ugh, it looks retarded, but fuck that TV, I'm not even going to go into detail with that piece of shit. In fact, I think that tube TV back there is better than that one. <laughs> okay, now, uh, next we got the Beast, the main, whatever thing I use for gaming and all that shit. It is a Gateway Ethic 684017C. I got it Future Shop about three years ago. Love the thing. The only problem is it's a smaller shit case, so you can barely fit any upgrades into it. Uh, the card I had in it was that little that little card right there. It was a 550 Ti, and uh, it's, it was pretty ancient because <laughs> it, it it was slow. It was slow. 2.0 and all that shit. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> Then I, uh, first thing I changed out was the RAM. I had 8 gigs of DDR3 in there, and I bumped it up to 16 gigs of DDR3. So, that's good. I'm all, I'm all set for RAM sort of thing. Uh, it came with a 1.5 terabyte, uh, built-in hard drive. Uh, not a solid state. It was, a uh, hard, hard drive, hard HDD, whatever. And, um, it's, uh... It was okay. The speed's okay. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too great either. I mean, it's it's an HDD, so what do you expect? But HDDs are known for their massive storage, not their transfer rates. Now, um, my CPU haven't changed it since when I first got it. It's an 09 processor. It would be the Intel Core i7-870 quad-core. <laughs> 
hit at 2.93 gigahertz so it, it's a baby it's a baby i7 it's it's okay <laughs> uh the thing that sucks is it only supports one pci express slot so yeah fuck it it can't handle shit <laughs> if i wanted to if i wanted to add anything else i couldn't because it has no uh, no places for any secondary shit it's only can do one one, I can only handle one PCI Express lane, so I'm gonna get a new processor next time I try to go SLI since I can't do that. Um, I got myself a, a Ventec 7.1 Sound Blaster sound card. Nothing too serious. Takes up a PCI port and uh, not an Express or an X16. It's just PCI. And uh, it's it's okay. I mean, I don't use it because, well, I got those, and for some reason it has a shit whenever I try to use those. It's like, oh, shit, it's a Logitech speakers. Fuck you. And uh, so, I can't use that. I can only use them with my X41, so, yeah. Uh, now I got my, uh, the main piece inside this PC, the most prized, most expensive, best part it's got in there is the EVGA, uh, GeForce 680 4GB, uh, classified. Um, it's not the water-cooled version, it's the standard fan version. It was an expensive card, it was a lot, but... Eh, it turned out to, it, to be worth it because everything else was dragging down that 550 so this has got to have that extra boost in order to get the good frames runs battlefield 3 maxed at about 80 frames uh, on this ultra setting and it runs everything else pretty smooth um, except for some games which I find to be a little bit fucked up uh, would be a good example let's say the Witcher 2. That game is a resource hog on this motherfucker, and I can't run it that well. Oblivion runs it okay. It runs it pretty, pretty nice. I mean, it's a lot more events in that game. Assassin's Creed 3 runs it really good. The only problem is, is it can't run it on Ultra. Otherwise, it's going to slug down to about 30 frames, and I think the max playable is about 40 Otherwise, it just it looks too choppy. Because uh, in films, you know it's always 24 frames, so it's just... It, it's consistent. Your eye doesn't notice, but your eye notices the change in frames when you're gaming, so... I like to have that extra power, so I'm good for that. And, um... It, it runs most things actually pretty nice, uh, except for those a few. Uh, I'm not gonna name them all. There's a lot of them on this list. I have a shit ton of stuff on this PC. I also forgot to mention that right there. That would be a Seagate two terabyte external uh, running 3.0 uh, USB bus type, and uh, and it's it has to, it requires an AC slot. Yeah, I don't know. It's just takes that much power. So whatever. I also have a 250 gigabyte internal uh, along with that 1.5 terabyte. It's it's not it's not been serious. It's it has it's the worst hard drive I have in there. But it's not nearly as bad as that thing. Still running that fucking. It's not even running SATA. It's running ribbon shit. So screw that. Um. Yeah, I took that from that old ancient 2004 MDG. So. Yeah, I bet you guys never even heard of that brand. But, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I got my Samsung, my Razer, Razer Gateway, Gateway, and Intel, and EVGA, NVIDIA, whatever. Samsung, Toshiba, Sony, I forgot to mention this guy. My first game in platform, loved that thing, had so much fun. I loved it. I really did love it. It was a really fun system until my parents jacked my shit and gave it a Wii, again bought a Wii and I hated them forever for that longest time because I'm like what the fuck why did you get a Wii <laughs> oh yes it's an upgrade no it's like Windows 8 fucking Windows 8 fuck Metro fuck it it's not a PC this is a tablet fuck that shit
I go for that. Windows 7 for the win. Fuck you, Windows 8. Fuck you. Not this laptop, though. It's cool. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you want to see the Modern Warfare 3 controller. There's nothing there. Shitty brother laser printer from 1999. <laughs> Damn, I got a lot of ancient shit here. <laughs> and that's also running USB... Uh, sorry, not you. Yeah, USB 2.0 and PCI Express 16, 2.0 as well. So I gotta upgrade a lot of stuff. I, in fact, I gotta get a new case. It's full. I might be able to get a quick peek in there for you. Show you how compact everything is. Ah, oh, fuck it. So you can maybe see that graphics card in there lighting all this shit up like it's Christmas. But Actually, I'll just take this whole thing out. Uh, there's everything in there. You got my 680 fucking massive heatsink, massive fan, the two hard drives. Uh, oh, I got these two. Uh, that one's just a standard CD burner. That one's a Blu-ray disc reader slash burner. 750 watt power supply. Um, but yeah, if you look there, you can you can see that there's only a total of four slots. Uh, so I can only have a two-slot graphics card. Only a two-slot. And uh, so there's not really a whole lot of room for customization in this case. Everything's so compact, so there's very little airflow. Except for the fan there. The fan, maybe, well, you can't see it, but it's back behind this thing, sucking air through these vents on the side here, sucking air, uh, air through these vents, and it's pushing a uh, nice cool air to cool these hard drives. <laughs> and uh, that fan there is pulling uh, the hot air from uh, what's left over from that CPU and from that graphics card. But yeah, I'm really excited uh, using this PC instead of using this little this little guy right here so yeah oh and also I have, have uh, forgot to mention you it's not here anymore I sold it but I had a ATI 5 uh, uh, an ATI Radon HD 5770 graphics card came with this guy but I put in that card and then I upgraded to this one later so I've been going through graphics cards like that, well, that particular 550 Ti had some problems with display and all that, it was, every once in a while I get this weird part where I wouldn't have a display, everything would just fuck up, and, like, you play, you might see that icon over there, it'll be flying across the screen, all stretched out, looking retarded, so, I'd have to reboot my PC multiple times because of that, but, I don't have to deal with that anymore. So, uh, I might throw in some gameplay, uh, or an annotation to a gameplay right here, whatever. I don't, I don't know if I'll put one there. Might be too lazy, but whatever. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'll talk to you all later, bye.